Hi, this is Abbas Zahadi for Common, a combined arts company that focuses on community building. Common just wrapped up a project called Bedtime Stories and Lullabies, a two-part series created in collaboration with 20 artists from the Middle East and South Asia. This video will give you a quick behind the scenes look at what it takes to put together a project like this. Due to the circumstances, we've all had to work from home and instead of just jumping on the live stream bandwagon, Common wanted to take some time to reflect and see what works for them because much of what they do is based around experiencing their work and not just observing it from the background. Once they understood their objectives, they got started on the project. A brief and a supporting open call was created and shared with Common's community mostly via email. They then commissioned artwork that included poster art and illustrated elements, which was then animated. From the artwork, they created color schemes to use as backgrounds for the project, as well as create masks for the video submissions by the artists. As you can see, the videos shared by the artists are raw, which they had to upload and submit using websites like WeTransfer and Dropbox. They then worked with two different teams of musicians who created unique soundtracks for the two-part series. This was particularly complex for bedtime lullabies because the musicians had to work with vocal parts recorded freely on a phone. Common then researched the origins and traditions of bedtime stories and lullabies and how they translate and resonate in different cultures. That became the thread that tied the two-part series together. Once all the elements were compiled, they were imported into video editing software. For this project, Common used DaVinci Resolve. About four extensive days were spent piecing together each part for the series, from animating the illustrations, inserting the copy, sequencing the raw films and grading them, and generally piecing each broadcast together. Based on research, both stories and lullabies were capped at around 30 minutes each. This was felt to be the amount of time people would give each broadcast their undivided attention. While in production, Common created the public face for the series. It was important that people were present during the broadcast and not hop in and out of the sessions. In order to achieve that, registration was required and basic sign-up forms were created on Common's website and through Eventbrite. Registration was free. They also wanted to cap attendance as you would in a physical event to ensure a captive audience. This gave Common the ability to communicate how many tickets were left over time, encouraging people to sign up and secure a spot. For this type of project, Common learned that 7 to 10 days before the go-live date was the ideal time to announce it publicly. To do that, they created Facebook event pages and posted the artwork on their Instagram. They also created targeted ads on Facebook and Instagram to reach out to the communities they thought this project would resonate with. And lastly, a newsletter was sent out to people who had signed up or previously attended one of Common's events. Zoom was used to broadcast the two-part series. Each broadcast was tested in advance and people were required to share their name and email when signing in to access the viewing. Bedtime stories and bedtime lullabies were aired a month apart. At the end of each broadcast, Common posted a poll on Zoom and asked people three questions. This helped guide them to better develop their projects for the future. Once done, Common took select stories and lullabies from their broadcasts and posted them onto their Instagram. Thankfully, these posts have been shared organically by over a thousand people which makes them feel like they've taken a step in the right direction. I hope you found this video useful if you intend to create an online project.